Hey there YouTube, Late Master with a video I have not made in a long time. A mail stuff video. This is from HLJ. And this is everything that I've pre-ordered for all of April. And uh, consider this a birthday present for myself. I've already cut the sides and I blacked out the information so you cannot get me. But cut the sides because cutting through that with one hand is a pain in the balls. So let's open her up. Huzzah. Huzzah. And huzzah. Get this out of the way. You know, you see one of the things up there. And there's a lot of really cool stuff in here I'm super excited about. Alright, first thing is this alternative sneak sight from the Hexagon line. Now, this looks really cool. It is a bird. But, uh, funnily enough, I was looking at images of this on Instagram, and, uh, it's all one color. That is all dark gray. Come on, Kodo. But, uh, I'll make a video of this. We'll show that off, because it is still really cool looking, even if it's only in one color. Off to the side you go, and onto the floor. I also have this. It is a bike. The alternative cross rider, fourth color version. Also from Hexagear, this is just a bike. I thought it'd be cool to have for my early governor character, uh, Hexagear. Throw that to the side. And this is wicked cool. It is, uh, was it, Ninja Senshi Tobikage? Volume 1. So we've got the Lion Bro. I don't know anything about this series. I'm gonna put that on out into the open right now. All I know is that that is a badass robot. And it's a lion. He's not a tiger, it's a lion. And a ninja bro. So, robot, ninja, and lion. Why wouldn't I get that? So that's the Super Minion Plot line. We have the Real Grade Force Impulse. Fantastic. We have the Cross Silhouette Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex, which is uh, promising to be my favorite Cross Silhouette kit. We have the next volume of Anima Gear. These are neat little candy toys of sorts. This one. We have those two guys. Can't really tell that way. We also have an alternate color of one of them, a gorilla, and a turtle. So, that's going to be very fun to put, build, very interesting to play with. I got a couple of Kodo weapon sets. These rifles. Looking at those handles, this might be too big for my 30-minute uh, mission kits, but I'm sure I'll have some fun with these. Ooh, molded in two colors. Very fun. Very rare you get a weapon set from Kodo that's molded in more than one color. And this is a bit of a, a spoiler, but I've got both of the color armor sets for the brand new 30 Minute Missions Raviot, orange, and white versions. These are the new, whatever faction the Alto's from, like the new version. It looks a lot bulkier. I'm really loving this. It's, oh, the, look at that name. Beam Shotgun. All right, it's the best thing ever. Yeah, this is, this is an improvement. I might go over these too. And I got two Alus Earth 3 Gundams. One's to build as the Earth 3, and the other one's to have the core Gundam for the fake new weapon system that it's going to get because Bandai has decided to... Uh, hurt all of us with their with their greed and and especially me because I'm definitely falling for it <laughs> by only releasing the armor and weapons without a core Gundam which is sad because that's the exact same strategy they're using for the entire new core Gundam too and I'm definitely gonna buy into it <laughs> damn it and the last two things I got are the Gundam GP Rasa well, set 210. Is that how you say it? Not 100% sure. But, looks fun. 
Can't wait to build that. It is a remold of the old high grade uh, GPL2, so expectations are limited. And we have the Haro Plaw Haro Loader. That's it. That's not a very interesting one. Although this is the first one of these I have that has an opening mouth. Or the Haro, I mean. Uh, I don't know if it'll stack up to the um, mobile Haro. I doubt it. That thing is fantastic. But it'll be a neat little addition. Yeah, that's everything. I'm very excited about this box. Don't know what I'm going to build first. Probably one of these Rabiots and the armor sets. But everything in here looks great. I can't wait to build everything. And man, this is going to be a fun box to play with. I'll see y'all in the next video.